In this video, we are going to look at the sum of an arithmetic series. You will find this on page 54 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Arithmetic and geometric series. Let's first look at the difference. A series is simply adding the terms, the sum of the terms in a sequence. For example, suppose we have the sequence this, the series we obtain from this is if we start adding all the terms. And we write Sn for the sum of these terms, not Tn. Thus, whenever one hurts the word series, the first thing to come to mind is the fact that the terms are being added. It is the sum of the numbers. If the series stops after a finite number of terms, it's called a finite series. For example, this is a finite series of five terms. If the series does not stop but continues indefinitely, it is called an infinite series. For example, this is an infinite series. An arithmetic series involves adding the terms of an arithmetic sequence and a geometric series involves adding the terms of a geometric sequence. Okay, but in this video, we are going to start with the sum of an arithmetic series. The sum of an arithmetic series is found by multiplying the number of terms by the average of the first and the last term. So this is one formula. You take the first term, you take the last term, you add it, you multiply it by the number of terms and you divide it by 2. That's why they said average. Okay. Or, is in, you'd say n divide 2, and then you use 2a plus d bracket n minus 1, close the bracket. Where a is the first term, n is the number of terms, and l is the last term. So you can either use this formula, but then they must give you the last term. Or, if they just give you the first three terms, you will use this formula. Let's look at an example. Determine the sum of the first 20 terms of the series. Okay, there. So if I'm looking at this, I can first determine it's an IP. I can see the difference is 3. So, so they're adding 3 every time. First determine whether it's an IP or GP. Then, use, they give you the first 3 terms, so I will use this formula. I'm just using it. I'm just substituting, and I get 650. Very, very basic from ordinary level. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number one F as well as number two, just working in a little bit in terms of algebra. Okay, let's start. Number one F. Determine the sum of the first 30 terms of the following series. So it's two, negative a half, negative three, negative two. One, two, three. Okay. Now, in this case, the best is first to say, okay, the value of A is 2. The value of D, okay, now remember, this is term 1, term 2, term 3. So, the value of D is term 2 minus term 1. Just use your brackets. So, term 2 is negative a half minus 2, so that is going to give you negative 2 and a half. You will get the same. If you say negative 3 minus minus a half, so it will become plus a half, so it will also be negative a half. Okay, now let's start. Because I have the first three terms, I will use this formula. S, okay, I'm just going to show you the formula I'm going to use. This is my formula. It's 2a, please remember, not a, like in the general term. Okay, so now I'm going to say s of how many terms is it? 30. So it's 30 over 2, it's just substitution. 2, 2, and in brackets, then you don't make sign mistakes. And how many terms? 30. So it's 29. And if I start pressing this in, I will get 15. I'm going to just simplify it a little bit. 
this step because otherwise sometimes I make mistakes. So 29 times this, it's going to be negative 72.5. And if I simplify all of this, I get negative 1027.5. And that will be my final answer. Let's look at number 2. Number two, determine the sum of the first 23 terms. Now, this is just in terms of algebra, so don't let it just think of the rules. So it will be in terms of x and y. Okay, so this is term 1, term 2, term 3. Now if I'm going to start with this, let's start first by saying again, uh, the value of a is 13x minus 2y. The value of d is term 2 minus term 1. I'm going to just write it now here. So it's 10x, use your brackets. So this is going to be 10x minus 13x plus 2y. And this is going to be negative 3x plus 2y. Okay, that is going to be my value of d. So if I'm looking at this, and it, okay. so now, now I'm just going to say, okay, let's start there, S23. I'm just going to write the formula down for you. Sn, and please remember to memorize it, n over 2, 2a. Although I think they give you, in this level, they give you a formula sheet. So as long as you can identify it. Because there's a lot of formulas in this AS level. Okay, so basically, I'm just going to say now is 23, and it's 23 divided by 2, and it's 2a, and what is the value of a? That's going to be 13x. Oh, let's just get that correct minus 2y plus d and then and I think I'm going to just move it up and then remember it's 23 minus 1 so I'm going to just make 22 okay and I yes and now I'm just going to simplify this is 11.5. Um, just, just 20. Just be careful. Think of your algebra rules. 20, I multiply. Okay, and now I multiply with that. So if I get negative 66x plus 44y. And then it's 11.5. And now I just add my like terms. And that's why I said, just remember your basic rules. Add my like terms, so this is a difference. So it's plus 40y. And now I'm just multiplying it in. So it's negative 460x plus 460x. Y, and that is my final answer. So it's in terms of X and Y.